Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 27th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where we have a look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, your world weather forecast. Starting here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms, still some bright, fiery regions in a north-facing position right now. Two active sunspots. One released the flare the other day, as well as plasma filament ejecting from the northwestern limb, looking at the last 48 hours, cresting and incoming. Quick look here at outgoing, as it's pretty quiet, even though on the back side, we did have a solar flare. As well, turning out are the coronal holes, in which we are experiencing the coronal hole wind stream right now. Quick look at that close plasma filament taken off from the northwestern limb of our sun. Quick look here at the multi-spectrum, showing a couple solar tornadoes taken off from that region. As well, watching for possible CME action coming from that right there in the last few images. 171 angstroms here. We do have a southern coronal hole developing right underneath that active sunspot that released the solar flare. We are expecting that solar flare event late tonight, tomorrow, and into the 29th. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 509 kilometers per second, ramping up to about 551 kilometers, but a very jagged and erratic north and south pole polarities. Solar X-ray flux remains in B-class range. Geomagnetic activity is elevated up to almost KP5, thanks to the coronal hole wind stream. Having a look here at Lasco 2 for the past 48 hours on our sun. As it does show a little bit of that backside solar flare. It was minor, probably about a B class. Looking here at Iswa Space Prediction Spiral, you can see that flare ejected right at Mercury. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 13, hyped up yesterday to about 24. Amplitude of 13, quality of 7.2. Let's get to earthquakes here for the past 24 hours as it is picking up. Just under 250 earthquakes across the USGS map. We're going to start out here with the largest earthquake overnight. 5.8 earthquake in Esmeraldas, Ecuador at a 26 kilometer depth. Many videos coming out, power outages and shaking, mad shaking on the coastline there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. 4.7 there, Nicaragua. Uh, Dominican Republic seeing activity today and as well, Puerto Rico still going. 4.3 there in Loreto, Mexico. Riviera Plate, as well, Texas, Mentone, Texas, 3.8, and many other minor earthquakes, 2.5, ranging to 2.9, 3.3 here reported in Edmond, Oklahoma, 7 kilometer depth, as well, a 2.5 there notable in Sneedville, Tennessee, and largest earthquake, North American soil, 5.1 off the coast of Oregon, and that was early in the hours of the 27th so overnight for everybody as well alaska seeing the increased seismicity 3.5 there in delta junction alaska deepest earthquake today was a 4.3 here kermadec islands region 224 kilometer depth and seismicity has all of a sudden ceased in hawaii 
Gee, I wonder why all the energy is now coming up through the summit caldera of Kilauea Volcano. This is the last 24 hours of imagery as it did flood over the cooled surface of the summit and is squeezing and spewing out through the holes. Carrying on here, Band of Sea Earthquake 4.1, 131 kilometer depth, as well as 4.5 there in Poso, Indonesia, 4.5 there in Pendek Lang, Indonesia, right beside Krakatoa, 5.6 mid Indian Ridge, 10 kilometer depth, as well as 4.3 here to report in Arma, Greece, 10 kilometer depth, and North Russia here, 4.4 in Tixi with a 10 kilometer depth, 4.4 earthquake. And that is around the world for the last 24 hours. A quick look here at the last seven days across the planet. We've seen a couple big shakers the last seven days. Taiwan and as well the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the largest earthquakes the last seven days. Still seeing a lot of deep movement through the Kermadex. regular activity coming back to Central America and South America. I forecasted the region. Cascades up into Alaska, increased seismicity. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery as well as most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here with Dokono in Indonesia. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Raventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabincaya in Peru, and a newly awakened volcano in Japan, Kitaloto, Japan. We'll give you more information on that volcano coming up in the Volcanic Activity Report, as well as Nevadas to Chile in Colombia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Simaru, Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Tao, Philippines, as well, Bezimiani, Russia, those two awakened on the same day, two days ago, as well, Talika, Nicaragua, Ibu, Indonesia. So that's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today. Very active day. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report. We will give you a fresh number on active and erupting volcanoes. Quick look around the world, satellite imagery. Storms continuing through Brazil as well. Winter storm conditions through northeastern United States as well. Northern Ontario, uh, Quebec, and as well Ontario. We had some very strong cold winds. It was colder here in Ontario than in parts some parts of the Arctic. Crazy days. As well, winter storm conditions through northwestern United States and a very strong low is moving in now as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. So stay tuned for that big system coming into the coast, California. Looking around the world, no other major systems developing through the West Pacific. Here is where Kito Loto volcano is south of Japan. It is an island volcano, not submarine, an island volcano. As well, tropical cyclone Halima is still alive. Looks like it's going to be torn up there as it heads southwards. As well, still low pressure system affecting parts of Spain. Now moving into France and Italy. Now let's have a quick look at the weather forecast here for the next couple of days. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada. Where, yeah, we have very strong winds and as well flurries are flying wherever they can. And cold temperatures, minus 12 with the wind chill. Strong system heading into the west coast. Overnight tonight, tomorrow into Tuesday. And then watch for that thing to develop into a big monster for the southeastern United States. Extreme weather will be on your doorstep yet again. Small Alberta clipper moving southwards into the low pressure system that came from California, which came from the Pacific Ocean. Looking here at the forecast for the next few days up into Thursday, Friday, it will be into Ontario. 
on the back side dropping snow and on the front side we'll be bringing extreme weather so heads up united states and as well ontario canada having a quick look here over alaska as those systems compounding in this week as well forecasted almost 400 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days overlooking south america heavy rains to continue through northern brazil and up into venezuela other than that daily evaporation rains nothing out of the ordinary overlooking africa daily evaporation rains through central parts as well rains moving across madagascar no major weather systems to report overlooking europe snowstorms still continuing through northeast parts and as well that low pressure system still grinding up into the mediterranean through italy and greece this week overlooking southeast asia indonesia malaysia watch for a big storm to head up into kamchatka as well a low grinding into thailand this week other than that, no major cyclones are developing in this long-range forecast. Overlooking Australia, rain to continue eastern shorelines moving out by Thursday, and then rain moving in to western parts on the same day. And this has been your weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. Going to leave you here looking at Null School showing our winds at 10,000 feet, northern hemisphere versus the southern. Thanks again for watching today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's update. If you did, please smack that like button. Let me know where you're watching from. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.